Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Uh, today I am going to start a week of doing videos with the Artistically Inked uh, bundle, including the Artistic Dies. I haven't used this one in a while and I thought I'd revisit some of the uh, older sets in the catalogue. Um, I'm pairing it here with the Hello Irresistible 6x6 Designer Series paper. Uh, so what I've got is a standard North American card base. This one is in Flirty Flamingo. I did this card on the Daffodil Delight. You could also do it on Soft Seafoam because that's the color I'm using on the front. Um, I've got a five and a quarter by four piece of the Designer Series paper. And I've used uh, the deckled rectangle to make a piece in the front. I didn't want it to be too big because I didn't want to cover up the really pretty paper. I've used the happy birthday from the greed, uh, from the set and I cut it out this way and then I recut it again this way to make it the size that I wanted it to be. So um, I've got flirty flamingo, soft sea foam and daffodil delight as my colors. And I'm going to use the masking technique, which means you just stamp your image on a thinner piece of paper, cut it out, and then you put it down so that uh, whichever piece you want to be in the forefront, like I want this flower to be in the forefront. So I'm going to put that down like that. And then I'm going to take my flirty flamingo and I'm going to stamp over top of it, just like that. So when I take this away, I've only got a partial image. So then when I stamp this one down, like this, I get my second flower. So that means I just get one full image with no uh, crisscrossing. Like you can see on the mask how you get the shadow of the other flower underneath. So let's just pop that off to the side and I'm going to come in with the leaves. And I've got a bit of a mist there. So I'm just going to make sure that I tuck a leaf up like that. And I'm going to come around like this. And another one like this. On this one, I managed to get um, five leaves in. Um, I could probably get another one in here. So let's just tuck another one like that. There we go. And then I used the dots from the set and did them in Daffodil Delight because I thought it looked a little plain. And you know what I'm like, it's gotta have an embossing folder or some kind of detail on it so that it's not too plain. And I'm just going to keep adding some dots, including under the leaves, like that, and then coming in like this, and then along the bottom, so that there's actually something underneath the happy birthday banner when we add it to the card. So, Let's pop that over there. I'm going to flat mount my Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper onto the front of the card. I'm going to line it up like this. There we go. And I need to put this down and it's going to go onto the card like this. Um, on this one, I've overlapped the top here. I'm going to try and overlap the bottom just a little bit, but I don't know how that's going to work. So I could do it like this, or come on, like this. But I'm not sure about that. So. I'm just going to overlap the top. But what it means is I need to put some adhesive over here to hold this down. I haven't done it as a, um, a sticker, having the adhesive back on it, because I didn't want um, the whole thing to be anchored down. I wanted it to float a little free. 
So then this I'm flat mounting as well. And I'm just going to lift this up while I place this down. Do I want both fronds up? I could do it like that. And it's coming over on this side like this. And I'm just going to pop it down like that. And then I'm going to dimensionalize the happy birthday like this. And add it to the front and then so this is going to come on here like that and that will help to anchor the flower or the leaves down as well and I've got some of the loose frosted dots and I'm going to take the easiest way I've found to manage these is to use sticky dots. You can use glue as well, but you can use adhesive dots and I'm just going to pop them down like this. Um, I think I'll just leave it at that. Try and do things in multiples of threes rather than an even number because it adds a bit of interest. But there we go. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to, is that a pink one? That's a yellow one. Pick that up like that and just pop it down. Pick that one up like that and pop it down on the glue dot and then see if I can find a light slightly larger one and then like that so that is our first card in this series uh, going back to the artistically inked bundle and you can let me know if you prefer it on the daffodil delight or on the flirty flamingo background so thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon